This is the storyteller with another hot topic. Arthritis is a touchy subject. What is arthritis? There are different types of arthritis. Inflammation of one or more joints causing pain and stiffness that can worsen with age. Different types of arthritis exist, each with different causes, including wear and tear, infections, and underlining diseases. Symptoms include pain, swelling, reduced range of motion, and stiffness. Medications, physical therapy, or sometimes surgery helps reduce symptoms and improve quality of life. Arthritis is the swelling and tenderness of one or more of your joints. The main symptoms of arthritis are joint pain and stiffness, which typically worsen with age. The most common types of arthritis are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis, along with psoriatic arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis affects the skin and the joints. What can we do outside of take care of ourselves? What we eat, what we consume matters and can cause even more inflammations. I bought a Keurig coffee pot. I love coffee and I love sugary coffee, but I thought because I was eating well that it would not matter if I had my sugar in the mornings with my coffee. This was the unbleached sugar. That is the topic today. How sugary drinks affect us all. How drinking sugary drinks can spike inflammation levels. Moreover, this effect can last for a considerable amount of time, depending on how bad your arthritis is. If you don't have arthritis, if you are a of an age that it will affect you, sugar will affect you. Consuming a 50 gram dose of fructose causes a spike in inflammatory makers like say our liver. Our liver produces C-reactive protein. What is C-reactive protein you may ask? Again, CRP is a protein made by the liver. CRP levels in the blood increase when there is a condition causing inflammation somewhere in our body. I say our because take the skin off, we are all the same male and female. Earth dwellers, hello out there. A CRP test measures the amount of CRP in the blood to detect inflammation due to acute conditions or to monitor the severity of a chronic condition. Back to the topic, how sugary drinks affect us all. CRP, after inducing, say, 50 grams, because that what we do consume, this delightful beast, we measure it or buy it already measured for us. I have decided to steer clear. Starting today, May 2nd, 2021. Today is May 7th, 2021. I have to tell you, from the 2nd to the 7th, there is a difference. The stiffness is gone, the pain is gone, and I sleep better at night. This sweet, sugary substance that we have to have. Oh no, can this be an addiction? Can we be addicted to sugar, pops, candies, cookies, sweet things? Of course we can. It's like sodium, it's like salt. We want something salty, then we want something sweet. We want something sweet, and then we want something salty. The design is to attack our health and keep us down in it. And it's in everything that we induce. We must be careful with her. She means us no good thing. This white lily of the field. We have to steer clear. I have done the research and I have done the test on my own body. My conclusion is just and it's sound. This is what happened with me in my testing on myself to conclude whether or not my sweet friend was giving me troubles. And it was. I am passing the information on to you. 61st birthday coming soon. And I am beginning to feel things within this body that alerts me right away when I have defiled it in a way that is unpleasing. For me, again, sugar and high fructose, 50 grams after 30 minutes, CRP levels are unstable, not only in me, but in everybody. Furthermore, CRP remains high for over two to eight hours. That's for just 50 grams. Did you know? For me, I love coffee, like I said. Sweet, dark roast. A couple of months ago, I was blessed with the Keurig 400 Platinum Deep Reservoir Coffee Cafe. Ooh la la.
I am noticing the joint stiffness, stiffness and joint pain that I never had until I started consuming the sugar. The coffee, now I drink my coffee. I still like it. I drink it black, but the sugar had to go and that was the culprit. I am on a sweetener hunt though, discovering different type of sweeteners, uh, sugar in the raw, the pure cane sugar is a lot less, say six grams versus 20 grams for a, a teaspoon. And the stevia, I've tried them all, but there's nothing to compare to our sweet lover, white sugar. That white of a sensation that will ruin our body in a matter of days if we are not careful. Facing the reality that this was the culprit was hard for me. I needed proof. Like we often do, we need proof. I mean, I watched this thing like a cheating lover. I blamed everything but my sweet white lover that brought me pleasures unknown to my palate. I searched myself to determine if my lover was a culprit. I can say I do eat healthy, and because I do eat healthy, my ways to incline myself once again placed me off balance. All or nothing is this lifestyle change. I wanted my affair to continue. I eat healthy, I told myself, so I make room to indulge myself with small pleasures, I told myself. I found the reports to be true. My sweetness is a culprit. Consuming too much processed sugar causes the body to release pro-inflammatory proteins called cytokines. What did you just say to me? You may be thinking, what is a cytokine? A number of substances such as interferon, interleukin, and growth factors, which are secreted by certain cells of our immune system and have an effect on our other cells. Cytokine levels are already high when we are developing or have developed inflammatory arthritis. That chronic inflammation is what causes pain, swelling, and stiffness in our joints. You may be asking, are you a doctor? Are you a caregiver? And I will answer that question right after this advertisement. Welcome back. An answer to your question, am I a doctor? Am I a caregiver? No, I am not a doctor. No, I am not an expert. I am someone that consumed sugar and it gave me problems. So yes, sugar is delicious. However, if C-reactive protein is a substance that our liver makes in response to inflammation, medical news today proof that the C-reactive protein test measures the amount of this protein in the blood. The test can help to diagnose acute and chronic conditions that causes inflammation, and by then it's too late. We must go under a professional's care and instruction and advice. And we know way before we get to the doctor. We know because of the joint pain, stiffness, and alerting signs that we ignore, not even being able to move or walk about. It's a serious condition that we label as arthritis and is a simple change of our eating habits that that can rescue us from author and all its sisters and brothers. What we induce matters. Our autoimmune conditions, including rheumatoid arthritis, RA, lupus, and certain types of inflammatory deep within our canals that is scaled by breaking down waste. Birthing bowel disease such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Too many avenues to bad health that I care to explore. Significantly high CRP levels are more than 350 milligrams per liter will always show telltale signs of a serious underlying medical condition. I refuse to get to those avenues. Also, the most common cause is severe infection within our bodies that can only be diagnosed by a professional. Diagnosing a poorly controlled autoimmune disease or severe tissue damage can also lead to high CRP levels. Signs are showing now. Our bodies are telling us now. Time to detox. We need professionals when we reach a certain level of damage. If that level has not been reached yet, time to detox. Seven day detox program. Time to drop that sweet demon from inhabiting our systems. Day one for me was 5 to 2021. Yes, just a few days ago. I had to drop 
that sugary demon, for she was bending me in ways that I could not possibly perform. Pick up your copy of Seven Day Detox by Regina Sanford, available on Amazon, on my website, Refuge One, Herbal Teacup and More dot org, or simply type it in to your browser. Seven Day Detox Program by Regina Sanford. And fill out your goal chart. Walk away with me. I will walk away completely from this loved by many and hold favor with all in some fashion or another. Our beautiful white lily of the valley, sugar. Added sugars. And sugar isn't the only culprit. There are many culprits. Processed and red meats, gluten, highly processed foods, alcohol, certain vegetable oils, foods high in age, acronym for advanced end products. That's ages, A-G-E-S. What are ages, Regina, you may ask? Ages are molecules created through reaction between sugars and proteins or fats. They naturally exist in uncooked animals, foods, and are formed through certain cooking methods we develop. Bottom line, if arthritis has made or is making a home and has crept in, a healthy diet and lifestyle may help improve our symptoms. Research shows that we should avoid certain foods and beverages, including highly processed foods, red meats, fried foods, sugar, and those rich in added sugars. Lifestyle factors like our activity levels, body weight, and smoking status are also vital to managing arthritis. High protein, high fat animal foods that are fried, roasted, grilled, seared, or broiled are among the richest dietary sources of ages. I know. What's left? Scandalous, isn't it? All the things that we love could be possibly killing us softly and slowly. One day you're fine, the next day you wake up and you're stiff as a board and you don't know why because it's now full blown. Yes, and other things to consider. These include bacon. Yes, that infamous P.I.G. hog that many refuse to give up. You can either give up the pig or become the pig. My stance is I've seen and I've tasted and now I am not going to be wasting it. No more wasting my life. And in the midst of a pandemic, we need to keep our immune systems tight. So what we intake matters greatly. It matters. I love myself enough to make the change. My needs over my desires. My needs over my pleasures. My needs over my wants. And I'm not saying give up all of these things all of a sudden. But every now and again, make it a special occasion in celebration of. Then place before ourselves if we can do this. Some cannot waste not even a day of bad eating. We'll put you down like a lame horse. But can we simply say no to our previous lovers? Pan fried or grilled steaks. Can we dig it? Can we dig that? Roasted or fried chicken and broiled hot dogs. I have had my share of all of these things while in this body. My body has been there for me. So now I am going to be there for my body 100% or try in the name of Jesus because I'm tired of aching, I'm tired of flaking, and I'm tired of not knowing but knowing and refusing to acknowledge. I'm worth the change and so are you. My stance now turning 61 is I've had my share and my body has stuck with me, praise Jesus. I shall pay her back by giving her what she needs, not what I want her to have. Join me on a National Lifestyle Change Day and make a difference within yourself in Jesus' name. May we have victory in our choices and success in our lifestyle change. This is not easy to do, especially if you are a meat and potatoes person and you've been having your way with certain foods for so long, certain drinks, beverages, sugars, this list could go on, but that a lifestyle change is going to be not only a venture for you, but an effort for you. I pray strength for us all in the name of Jesus. This is The Storyteller with another short talk. Subscribe to keep up to date.